Welcome to the 2A Freedom Range Channel. Guys, thank you for watching. And what I've got today, I'm going to be revisiting the T-Sauce 1911 Stingray. It's chambered in the 9mm. It is clear. There's nothing in the chamber. Nothing in the magwell. And guys, we are in a secured location. Uh, adequate enough to do this little video on this firearm. We do not have no ammo in this particular room with us. And, uh, the other videos that I had, I had several comments from asking questions about the trigger pull and uh, the different things about the firearm. And guys, one of the questions was asked is, did the firearm have much slack in the slide? And you can see that it's got very, very little slack in the slide, guys. Moves just a little bit. Some was talking about rattles in the thing, you know, the trigger. I mean, it's just all around solid little pistol, uh, been my experience. Uh, I've shot 500 plus rounds through this. And guys, uh, one of the main questions was, was the trigger pull. So I've got my Wilder trigger gauge here. And I did not do this in other videos, but 3.2, point, three pound, 2.6 ounces. And guys, uh, We'll do it again right here. Three point three pound seven point seven ounces. It's got a pretty nice trigger on it. You know, some some was interested in the trigger pull, so I thought we'd uh, try to answer some of these questions today. And there's three point three pound nine point zero ounces. Got a pretty nice trigger on it, guys. The only drawback to this particular little firearm that I've found, I've had no failures with it and no problems with it. it. Has no serrations on the front or the back of the grip. And this uh, Starburst GTN grip, it is just a little bit slick. But other than that, that's the only negative that I've seen of it. And some asked about the, uh, the barrel, was it ranked? And so I'm going to pause right here just a second. Guys, and... Uh, take it apart and show you the barrel. I'll not do it on this video because YouTube don't particularly like us doing that kind of stuff, but let me pause right here and I'll uh, take it apart and uh, show you the barrel. Alrighty guys, I'm back to answer the question about the barrel. I had several comments wanting to know if it was a ranked barrel. It is a ramped barrel, stainless steel, but it is ramped. And what I'm gonna do now is go back out on the range and I've got the original mags. They are empty. There's nothing in them. And I've got two 10-round mags that I, that originally came with a firearm. And then I've got two 10-round mags, uh, Wilson Combat. And I'm going to be running through the firearm. Uh, until this uh, day, I've not uh, run any Wilson Combat mags through it. And I'm not trying to sell magazines or guns. I'm just, just wanting to show you guys that had questions uh, how it would function with these <clears throat> other magazines and guys that being said let's get out to the range and send us four mags down range and see what happens and we'll be shooting a, a full metal jacket three mags of that and one one mag of uh, defensive ammo and uh, guys if you've uh, not subscribed to my channel and would like to support it uh, give me thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you watch this video on rumble or on utreon uh, and you want to support the channel, then hit the follow button. Y'all leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this particular little farm. And guys, let's get on the range right there and just have some fun. Send us some round, rounds down range. And that being said, if you put your earplugs in good and tight, we'll send some down range and see what she does. And this is for the ones that wanted to know. Like I said, I have not seen any problems whatsoever with this little pistol. I mean, it runs flawless, what my have experienced so far, guys. And that being said right there, let's send us a few down range right here. All righty, mag cleared. That's the original mag that come with it. Like I said, that was 115 grain. 115 grain metal uh, full metal jacket guys and also for the ones that ain't seen my channel or, or seen a review on this this is an aluminum frame 
aluminum frame and it does have a nice beaver tail with a nice memory bump on the back, extended beaver tail. It does have ambi, ambi safety, a safety like I said on both sides. The gun is cleared, there's nothing in it, but it does have an ambi safety. The sights are the three dot watt sights. They're all right guys, they're nothing really special but they're good. It does have skeletonized uh, trigger and a skeletonized hammer. And like I said, it just feels good. It's a nice feeling little pistol in the hand and I've not had any hiccups whatsoever. Now I've got the original mag that came with it and I've got one whole mag of uh, defensive ammo on this right here. And guys, I will be carrying this. It has proved itself to me. I will be carrying this in my EDC lineup. And that being said, let us get us one chambered up and see what we can do. Chambered up just right, just fine. Safety, safety works, yeah man. All right, let's send these down range right here and see what happens, guys. See what we can do right here. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Guys, in my opinion, my experience, you cannot beat these. You cannot beat these for the price and the reliability. It ain't a heavy gun. It's pretty easy to conceal. It's got a bobtail right here on the back of it right there for easier concealability right there, guys. Uh, the sights ain't that bad. Okay, guys, what we got now, we got two of the Wilson Combat Mags. I bought two of these. I've never, never ran any ammo through this particular firearm with this. It's 10 round mags, and they are the Wilson Combat 9mm, 10 rounds right there. And let's, let's see what it'll do with these right here now, guys. See what we can do with this. Runner flaws, she is empty. Wilson Combat makes. But the Wilson Combats are doing fine right there, guys. Said, we got us another mag right there. I don't know what else I can say. Don't know what else I can say, guys, about the gun. It is cleared. There is nothing in it. It's cleared. But the thing, I mean, I don't know if I can see it or not, but they very, very, very little movement in it. There's no rattle. People's asked me about rattles in them. Uh, there's very, very, very little bit of movement in it. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's all around solid gun. I mean, I don't know what else I could say. Uh, 500 plus rounds. It does run the Wilton Combat mags. It runs the original mags flawless. I've not had any problems whatsoever. Uh, just feels good in the hand. Uh, I just hope the ones that was that was wanting to know the uh, uh, update on it, I hope this helped you. I'm, I'm telling you. I'll tell you, I just, in my opinion, you can't go wrong. I think it can be trusted and relied upon for an EDC. And that being said, guys, Remember, God sent his son to die for you on the cross, and he shed his blood on the third day is resurrected, and you can be forgiven of your sins and have eternal life. And guys, all you got to do is repent of your sin, ask him to come in your heart and save your soul, and he'll do so. That's what the Bible says. He said, if we confess with our mouth, Lord Jesus, believe in our heart, God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved, shall be saved. And guys, stand 2A strong until the next time. May God bless you.